Okay, so we are doing the Tuverin Power Scrubber Cleaning Drill Brush today. Um, it comes in this box, and just like this, <laughs> you get a two inch drill brush. Um, this is a harder bristle. You get a three and a half inch round brush. These black bristles are much softer than the green bristles, I guess, so you can get into corners, manipulate it a little easier. It's good for between two, two surfaces. It'll spit in there. You got a four inch brush, softer bristles, or about the same as these green here. And then you have a five inch concrete brush, they say it is much stiffer, these bristles. And um, I can't wait to use this and this in this six week dirty tub. I will actually give it a shot and see how it goes. Um, yeah. All right, so this, uh, I'm usually cleaning this, this tub with this brush here, hand scrubbing it up and down, getting it wet, kind of cleaning it, going up and down, scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. It takes me about half hour, 40 minutes to really clean this. Uh, I usually don't wait six weeks to clean it. It's usually um, every two weeks or so, I give it a good scrubbing and then every like month, come in and give it a really good, hard, good cleaning. Um, so I already got this a little wet, so it's a little easier to get this, the gook off. Um, let's go ahead and not use this brush anymore. Let's give the drill bit a real shot. All right, so I've got my goggles on because I'm, I'm, the only thing I'm worrying about is I did put some chemicals and it's wet here. I'm worrying that with this on the flat surface that the chemicals and stuff are gonna spray up, down, get all over the place. Um, I do worry about that, so I don't know how it's going to go, <laughs> so let's find out. All right, so after a little bit of use, um, I don't see anything flying all over the place. However, you can see kind of in here, this black, I don't know what this is, but mold possibly, is not coming off with the brush. However, the tiles are really clean. Um, they do look really clean, but the grout, it's having a little difficult problem to getting in between the grout, but we'll know in a little bit more. All right, so here you can see underneath the shower head, it's a little dirtier here because we have a caddy that sits here and water kind of collects here. So let's see how this works. All right, so you can see I still have a little bit of dirt in here. However, it did take a lot of it off. Once I got the brush wet, um, I already had some bleach spray on here. And um, let's go ahead and actually use this brush that I usually use. And see how that goes. All right, so here's the brush I always use. Let's see if I can get in there. Maybe six weeks was too long. That's not doing anything either. Same results, not much more off. I think if I put the brush on it, it would still do the same. Um, pretty good so far, uh, saving me a lot of time. All right, let's go ahead and try this angled brush <clears throat> in the corners and see how well it does. is don't wait six weeks to clean your shower. Um, there's a couple spots here that I don't think anything's going to get rid of besides cutting it out possibly. So don't wait six weeks to clean your shower. You should probably clean it all the time. Um, I think with these brushes, it would be nice. It's easy to clean. So you can do this every two weeks in just a few minutes. You can actually clean your, your shower and keep it nice. So you don't have to run into the stuff that we're running into now. Um, it does keep the tiles really clean. 
you do have to kind of push in a little bit harder to get into the grout so you can see the grout lines uh, to get them really nice and clean but you know having an older shower too doesn't help but um, very easy it's a much easier workout than scrubbing up and down left and right you just kind of hold it up as long as you can hold your power drill up for a few minutes you'll be fine uh, doing so and it's kind of heavy if you have a cordless one it's probably even better because you don't have that battery hanging onto it um, you are going to get it wet so you just got to be careful with the electricity obviously but like this looks really nice and clean the soap tie the soap dishes uh, the ledges are really nice and clean you are able to get into the corners really nice you can see this grout lines really nice here nice and clean it's just on the flush tiles um, and I don't think there's anything you could do with this I even tried to scrub this by hand afterwards and nothing's coming out you really have to get either a powerful cleaner or something else to get in there to get that dirt out but very easy to use I would use it again I'm gonna keep using it I liked it for the tub uh, it does make it a lot easier and I don't have to do this you know by hand every every once in a while I can just use this to kind of keep on top of it really quick and done so that's what I'm gonna continue doing I bought these brushes because I wanted something to clean the bathrooms a lot easier using that brush that I just showed before it's a lot it's kind of hard to get in in corners and around and it's a lot of like muscle you know like if you don't keep up on it it's really hard to keep things clean and I figured this would make it a lot easier I can come out every week and clean it and it would just take me minutes as opposed to you know a lot of minutes like 20 minutes to clean this countertop 10, 10 minutes to clean the countertop I can do this in one minute so I'm gonna try to clean around the uh, the faucet here the, the handles and see just you know the soap um, a lot of toothpaste we use this area for this is this is our main bathroom so let's see So that worked out really nice in here. You can see the bristles got underneath the uh, lip here to actually pull out a lot of that crap that sits under there that you can't normally get out without really trying to get in there. Uh, it works out really nice for the handles, the faucet itself, no scratching, no abrasion, nice and soft. You can see I got all the toothpaste off. That was cool. Um, and you could see during the video I had it flipping with the water on it. It doesn't shoot water super far, maybe because I just don't have this too, I don't have my drill tuned up really fast if I had my cordless or if I had the corded one it's probably gonna throw water all over the place it's really really much more powerful but um, I didn't I these are the glasses I wore they did not get wet when I was cleaning the shower I was expecting to have some splashing going on but nothing happened so that's good and for this nothing either you know you can see where the water or I had the, the brush I had the brush here and the water was coming out to about here so it wasn't wasn't really throwing it far it wasn't coming up and out um, just here when the brush was really wet it threw some water around but this is cool um, you can use this for your tires to clean your car tires I, I don't so I, I never would do that um, this I did use for the garage really quick to clean the um, like the inside the doors like we have on our garage door we have the indents I'll put a picture up and show um, I used the, the smaller brush of this to get in there and just kind of clean it up real quick um, and that was cool that was really quick um, and you can see the dirt just kind of falling off of course my GoPro the SD card gave me an error so I the video doesn't work but um, cool little product um, back to the shower I think the shower I could scrub and possibly get it better than using this the drill brush but it's gonna like I said it usually takes me about half an hour you know but just about a half an hour to clean the tub and that took me about six minutes to clean the entire tub yes it wasn't as good but I've never let the tub get six weeks dirty so usually every few weeks I clean the tub so it's much easier to clean not such hard scrubbing going on so the this the two bin brushes these are this is worth it um, the other two brushes are over here this is uh, a cool product I um, I do recommend it 
Um, there are a bunch of other uses for it, so there's other things you can do with it, which are cool. And if you have other uses, this is definitely cool. But just for me, for the shower, for $20, you keeping my, my bathroom clean, I thought this was a really good investment. And I'll continue using this product here. Um, this doesn't seem like it's going to come out. I don't think this is going to rust. Um, but if it starts to rust, it's going to take a few years probably until it's destroyed to 20 bucks. Not too bad. Uh, I did have one bristle come out on this smaller brush that I was using. Um, I do see some of these bristles are maybe broken or you know or cut short. Um, I didn't look at that one beforehand. I looked at this one and the three inch. All right, so I, you, I looked at this one. This is the brush I used a lot. Um, I don't see any bristles broken. No bristles came out of this. I don't see any bristles cut short. So I would say this, this held up. This brush held up for one use of the tub. Um, not, not that I would expect it to fall apart after one use, but it held up. So I, I would expect it to be even, to last even longer. This brush, one bristle did come out and some of the bristles do look like they um, were broken off or cut short. So we'll have to see how this one competes over time. This is a softer bristle, this is a harder bristle. So maybe this will have the same thing. I'm not really too sure, but cool product. Definitely pick it up if you're in the market for something to use to clean anything up.